Hi, I'm uh, Nicholas Roach. I'm Irish and I'm 25 years old today. I'm just about to buy my first Tour de France. I'm a slow sprinter who can climb okay, or I'm an okay climber who can sprint fast. Riding in the shadows of a famous father, it comes with a lot of responsibility as Nicholas Roach tries to follow the footsteps of Stephen Roach, the first Irishman to win the Tour de France. That was back in 1987. It doesn't make me feel any younger, huh? But uh, I remember when I won the tour, he was sitting on my knee. It's always, um, it's nice to have a dream, have a son doing in your own, you're following your footsteps. But we know it's going to be very difficult for him following my footsteps after me having a career. Everyone's going to be trying to compare him with me. Throughout his career, Stephen Roach was known for his fluid climbing style, his ability against the clock, and his tactical astuteness. Does he have the same quality as Stephen? Well, Stephen won the Tour de France, the Tour of Italy and the World Championship. Today, his son is not yet at the same level. He is a boy with a lot of power and quality, but is he capable to have the same quality as his father in the mountains? I don't know. On the bike, then, he's, uh, maybe he has a much better physique than I would have had. I was always little round, whereas um, he's... Uh, better athlete maybe than I was maybe you know and the passion for cake <laughs> Nicholas celebrated his birthday with his teammates but most importantly his father was with him too since last year he's a bit more involved because you know he's uh, he doesn't want me to have any regrets in in, in my future life and saying oh what if I didn't do this and uh, for sure he would have felt guilty in the next few years if, of not telling me what to do he calls me pretty often to make sure everything goes right, but he's never telling me, do this, do that. I'm only there as a kind of parachute if something happens, but he's, uh, I'm quite confident that he can do everything himself, you know. So as he heads into his first Tour de France, what ambitions does Nicolas Roach hold? It's just uh, such a difficult race that I don't want to be over ambitious and come back all disappointed, so I prefer to take it day by day and just keep my fingers crossed that everything goes good. Tour de France is very long, it's very, it's very painful, it's very tiring, it, um, it uses you a lot, you know. So uh, just to take it as it comes, it's three weeks long and the important thing is to finish. And I was always told you must first finish to finish first. So the important is to participate and learn.